Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Today, a quick MD Minute on a botanical. This will be the first in a series that people are using uh, to hopefully prevent getting infections like Corona. I do want to start just with a thank you for the well wishes for the hundreds of people who have contacted me in social media to thank me and also to wish me well when I did have corona. I'm now, as you can see, 100% fine, and I'm back at work, actually, in the ICU today. So quercetin is the number one flavonoid in the human diet. We make, we eat more quercetin than anything else. Flavonoids are antioxidants. They are a very important nutri nutrient that we have in diets. The quercetin is found in the peel specifically, but mostly if, of things like apples and onions, uh, broccoli and berries and tea. And as I said, it's a potent antioxidant. Quercetin, um, I've been using for many years as an integrated medicine doctor as an, a mild anti-allergy supplement because it has an effect on the cells of the body of the uh, allergy system called the mast cells and that seems to stabilize them and prevent them from making a lot of histamine, releasing histamine which is causing itching and allergy symptoms. So that's what quercetin has traditionally been used for but it does have some interesting effects on viruses and it, the, the studies I'm going to talk about, the effects they have about are based on test tube preclinical studies and not necessarily on COVID-19 itself because that's a relatively new novel virus where we haven't had major trials using quercetin to see if it can prevent uh, corona infection. But based on other studies with other viruses and based on what it does in test tubes, the quercetin, which is well tolerated, is not a bad idea. So quercetin has a couple of effects, one of which is that it seems to prevent viral replication. The virus gets into your body and needs to, uh, it needs to replicate, divide, because it can't do anything on its own. It needs the body to be able to do that. Um, and then the second thing, which I think is really interesting, is that when viruses like COVID-19 get into the body, they actually trigger an inflammatory response through something called the NLRP3 inflammasome, which is a protein complex inside cells. This virus stimulates that, and that is honestly the thing that causes the entire body, and especially the lungs, to become very, very, very inflamed and release inflammatory markers, inflammatory chemicals that will worsen your pneumonia, make your lungs much worse. Things like interleukin-6, interleukin-8. Um, so all of those things, because you've switched on, it's like the on switch for inflammation. And that's this inflammasome that's found um, in, the, in the cells. And so what we find is that quercetin actually reduces that inflammation. It reduces the ability to switch that on. So you're getting less inflammation, you're getting less release of all these chemical mediators that are going to cause a lot of inflammation, what we, what we call the cytokine storm that's so dangerous in, um, in COVID. So the dose that people are recommending is a little higher than the usual dose. It's more like 1,000 milligrams of quercetin twice a day. Usually I do about 250, 500 twice a day, but this is a different time, and so that would be what you would take. Um, it is very well tolerated. The only side effects you can get, same with any botanical, uh, would be gastrointestinal issues, you know, an upset tummy, um, theoretically a headache. Uh, you, um, there are doses in children, but you need to speak to a pediatrician about that. And um, though I understand it's safe in pregnancy, it is of course uh, a derivative of food, you again would want to speak to your OBGYN before you take any supplements. So quercetin, the first botanical we're going to talk about to help uh, prevent COVID. Uh, have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks so much.